Hawa Shabbata. Keep on rising. We almost there, man. We almost there. Because we're starting to remember again. Water has memory. Ahab to Yosef, the real, get in the classroom. Primary man, superior water. We say every teardrop captures the memory of that emotion that caused that tear. A new groundbreaking discovery has been made within the most basic of resonant resources. Scientists have discovered what they have called the discovery of the millennium. And a huge revelation in human consciousness, scientists from Germany now believe that water has memory. Meaning that what was once seen as a simple commodity has now been closely examined to reveal a scientific revelation and covering a mind-blowing truth so they can get the drop by decoding the water like the crystals, right? Every water is unique, has its own design. By examining individual drops of water at an incredibly high magnification, scientists were able to physically see that each droplet of water has its own individual microscopic pattern, man. <laughs> it's, it's literally its own screenshot. Carrying the memories, you know what I mean? Just like the uh, silicon, you know, crystal computer chips, you know, the memory. The crystal, that's what they're storing the memories on the crystals, man, in the water. They're doing it right in front of our face. So when we drink the primary water, love to Yosef the real, when we drink that superior milk, man, do we wake up? I mean, do we get our fountain of youth? Listen up. By examining individual drops of water at an incredibly high magnification, Scientists were able to physically see that each drop of the water has its own individual microscopic pattern, each distinguishable from the next and uniquely beautiful, just like the crystals. Love the crystal James, CJ, CJ Battle, man. A scientific experiment was carried out whereby a group of scientists were all encouraged to obtain one drop of water from the same body of water, all at the same time. Through close examination of the individual droplets, it was seen that each produced different images. Each drop of water produced different images. So we're all different images of, you know, the same flow. But every drop of water is a little different. Just like, you know what I'm saying, we're a little different. But we're all from the same water, you know what I mean? But we're all different designs, part of the pattern, right? The microscopic pattern. A second experiment was then carried out where a real flower was placed into a body of water and after a while a sample droplet of the water was taken out for examination the resulted produced a mesmerizing pattern when hugely magnified but all of the droplets of this water looked very similar. When the same experiment was done with different species of flower the magnified droplet looked completely different thereby determining that a a particular flower is evident in each droplet of water. <laughs> so how does that relate to the Nagi? To our connection with the water through this discovery, which shows that water has memory. According to scientists, a new perception of water can be formed. The German scientists believe that as water travels, listen up, my Nagi. As water travels, it picks up and stores information from all of the places that it has traveled through, which can thereby connect people to a lot of different places and sources of information. Do y'all hear what they're telling you? Do y'all hear what we are remembering? That we are connected through the water? That each tribe, you know, is, it is a source of water. You know what I mean? Each tribe has a vibration. Not all tribes are the same. Not all tribes carry the same water, the same flow. Even if they look like you. <laughs> you might come from different sources of the water. Just like the primary water. You know what I'm saying? You might have, you know, water sprouting out here. You might find a spring over here. But they might come from different sources. You know what I mean? It depends. One water might be a higher, higher level, a higher frequency than another, you know, a spring of water. Primary milk. 
They both might be primary men, but one might be more primary men. That's just like tribes, man. You are the water. The Wah has raised up Israel as the primary superior men. And nothing can touch that frequency when it's tuned up. And they're saying that German scientists believe that as water travels, it picks up and stores information. So you got all the information, the tribal flow, right? From all of the places it has traveled, Exodus, which can thereby connect people to a lot of different places. Jerusalem, let's go. And sources of information when they drank this water, man. <laughs> wow. All we got to do is drink the water. All we got to get, all we got to do is get to the superior water, man. Man, Yosef the real, man, really, you know what I'm saying, blew the water gasket off of this thing, man. We digging. We just got to dig. It's everywhere. Depending on the journey that it has been on. Depending on the journey that this water has been on. Fountain of youth. Let's go. This has even been compared to the human body of which each is incredibly unique and has its own DNA unlike the other. While the human body is made up of 70% water. Conclusions could be drawn from these new discoveries that the human tears. Listen up. Your human tears can hold a unique memory of an individual being through the body's store of water hosting a complete store of information that is linked to individual experience so each tear stores that memory from that experience wow suggesting that everyone is globally connected by the water stop not everybody's connected by the same water there's different sources of water <laughs> but the primary myth is coming from a particular source you know what i'm saying levels you know are channeled you know differently through these trees you know what i'm saying suggesting that everyone is globally connected nah the tribe the tribes are connected we're connected which is why when they cut off our water and they poison our water they're poisoning us directly man whether we drink it or not we feel it we're affected by it we're affected by the men the memories they're poisoning the memories why are they dumping fluoride in our water why are they dumping fluoride in our water they're fluoridizing, you know what I'm saying, poisoning the memory so that you don't wake up in time. So that you don't wake up, you know, faster than their AI synchronicity, right? Suggesting that the cons are connected by the water in the body, which travels through ongoing journeys, my naga, whereby information along the way is always stored, my naga. So you got all the stored, storage space, memory capacity. All we got to do is tap in, tap in, clock in, clock in. Who is Preston John? Why does Hosea 3 and 5 say the children of Israel will return, seek the creator, Hawa and David, their Khan? Does David lead you to the water? Does Moshe lead you to the water, the journey, the exodus, depending on the journey that it has been on? It's all about drinking the water, man. So, hey, man. Scientists show water got memory. You got the link below. It's also this wiki link here about water memory. Reportedly, the, the reported ability of water to retain a memory of substance previously dissolved in it even after an arbitrary number of serial dilutions. It has been claimed to be a mechanism by which homeopathic rep remedies work, even when they are diluted to the point that no molecule on the original surface remains. Even when they're diluted to the point where no molecule on the original surface remains, so it's still storing the information. No matter what they do, water memory defies conventional scientific understanding. Look, man. Same thing as melanin. They don't understand it, right? They have no idea the fullness of melanin. They have no idea all the structures of melanin. Same thing as the dragon, right? <laughs> it comes from the unknown substance, the mysterious substance, unlike ordinary mercury, right? The philosophical quicksilver, right? Con, con. All this stuff is unknown. Thoth can't see beyond the greater light. 
the greater water, the superior mem. And again, water memory defies scientific understanding. They don't get it. Just like melanin, they don't get it. They don't get nothing that correlates directly to Hawa, Mama, Abba, of physical chemistry. It defies conventional scientific understanding of physical chemistry knowledge and is not accepted by the scientific community. This drop is not accepted by science. Why? Oh, this blows the lid off of everything. They're telling us that the water cycle comes from precipitation and the clouds and then this rains down. Nah, nigga. That didn't form all this beautiful water. The water's being formed within us. Love to yourself. It's being formed by the billions every day. Brand new water that's just touching the surface, but it's flowing. And it's connected to the ancient memories. It remembers everything. But it's not accepted by the scientific community. They, they just want you to drink their bullshit, you know, saying, like Yosef say, chapped up water, man. They just want us to drink this bottled bullshit and not tap into the primary man so that we don't get no memory. Because remember... <laughs> Scientists show that water has memory, so how can they not accept this theory? Whereby, thereby, where which can thereby connect people to a lot of different places and sources of information when they drink this water. All right, man. So you got these. Hey, how again to bro yourself doing superior work, man? You know, digging on this water. You know what I'm saying? My jigger natural by law as well, man. All the tribe digging on it. CJ Battle, man, digging on it, man. We're all digging on it in real time, man. It's all happening. It's all happening. Yeah, man. All right, man. Let's fall back and surf the wave a little bit. Just taking a cruise along the water. Let's get this reading of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 8. Allow wa, I pray you have a Yapa rest and a Yapa flow. Allow wa. Does wisdom cry? Does wisdom not cry? And understanding put forth her voice. So, first of all, you need to know that when you talk understanding or overstanding or understanding, you're talking your mom. When you talk wisdom, you're talking your mother. And I love this particular proverb because it's mama talking man we get we get to hear mama talk man and it feels so good does wisdom not cry and understanding put forth her voice she stands in the top of high places by the way in the places of the paths she cries at the gates at the entry of the city at the coming in at the doors unto you O men I call and my voice is to the sons of man Oh, you simple, understand wisdom, and you fools, be you of an understanding heart. Here, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things, for my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is none forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understands and write to them that find knowledge, receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. They're talking about gold, silver. We over here selling out for money, Monat the Juno, for paper and plastic cards. We don't even get silver and gold from our jobs. We don't get silver and gold for nothing, right? We don't get paid in gold or silver, con. So we don't get shit. We get an illusion. We get a promise. <laughs> we get the matrix. Shout out to Nat by law. Receive my instruction, verse 10, and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, 
Ama, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear or the respect of Hawa, the creator, is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Wisdom got the power. Solomon is praying for wisdom, huh? Solomon prays for wisdom, understanding, discernment. He prays for mama. He's asking for his mama to be tapped into the mem, to the primary water. Verse 14, counsel is mine. You want wit? You want a wise counsel? What's the etymology of Nestor, Nestor? They keep saying you're a Nestorian Christian. That refers to being connected with your mama. That these people are connected with the primary mama. Wisdom, Shekinah, Ama, the flow. Remember the Papova, the framer and the shaper. She, the framer, who puts everything together with the ingredients, uses the ingredients to make fine meal. She puts it all together, she connects the flow. Mom is the connection. What we just get about the water? The water connects us to the flow, to each other, to the memory, to our lineage, to reality. The framer and the shaper, the shaper, your father is the vibration he who molds you you get molded by the vibration you see those experiments with different frequencies of vibration on different different patterns that's the vibe you're in a vibe of your wa of your foundation fifth and the sixth letter the ha wa the wa is the vibe it's the foundation it's the security you have a secure vibe the ha or <gasps> Is your breath, is mama, is the revelation. That's what you get as soon as you walk through the doorway. You got the Allah, the strong power. You got the Ba'at, the house, the tent. The power enters the tent. Gam, right? We're talking gamma rays, like the calm fresh, the gimel, the gamel, the, the camel, the, the movement, the traveling. You got movement now that the strong power has entered the house, the tent, the Ba'at, the Allah, the Ba'at, the Gam, the movement. You go through the doorway, the doll, dollette, you go through the portal. Who greets you first? It's mama. It's wisdom with her hands raised up. Not no man with his hands raised. That's your mama. That's your breath. That's the feminine. <gasps> Inhale is feminine. Exhale is masculine. Inhale is feminine. Exhale is masculine. Every breath you take, whether you like it or not, you breathe in the creator's name. <gasps> wow. <Whoa. sighs> That's breath of security or foundational breath of foundational revelation then you get your zan man shabbat shalom now you got your zan because you got your frame and your shape and that's the simplest way i can ever break down the flow of the creator all praise the creator for giving us a way to break it down simply to share with our tribe and our children allah why Verse 15, by me, kings reign. Solomon is praying for wisdom, huh? By me, kings reign and princes decree, decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles. You want to be a regal Negro, you need mama. Solomon prays for wisdom because she fortifies the kingdom. Power, overstanding. I love them that love me by me princes rule and nobles even all the judges of the earth i love them that love me how do you love mama by keeping the code by keeping her ways riches and honor are with me durable riches and righteousness my fruit is better than gold yeah better than fine gold and my revenue than choice silver I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures. Hawa possessed me in the beginning. 
not no Jesus. Oh, Jesus was always at the right hand. Jesus was there in the beginning. Oh, Jesus is Genesis. Da, 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 da. Mama was there from the beginning. Mama's right there at the right hand. You can't replace Mama with no new test. Hijack. Zeus want to replace everybody. Joshua, wisdom, Ju Jesus is everywhere. Yahweh everywhere, huh? No, that's Mama. You can't replace it. It's the framer and the shaper. Now they got father, son, father, son, father, son. Nah, framer and the shaper. Let's get it. Awah possessed me in the beginning of his way. Before his works of old. Before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or over the earth was. Or ever the earth was, I was always there, man. Mama was always there. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, because mama is the water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was, I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest parts of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass up on the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, he pointed the foundations of the earth when I then I was by him as one brought up with him. I was daily in his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of the earth. And my delights were with the sons of men. Now, therefore, hearken unto me. Listen up, you children, for blessed are they that guard my ways. That's mama talking. Blessed are they that guard my ways, keep the code, hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not blessing that hears me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors, for whosoever finds me finds life. You want the water, you want the memory, whoever finds me finds life, and shall obtain favor of Hawa. But he that sins against me wrongs his own soul and they that hate me love death proverbs chapter 8 i love you all shabbat shalom all praise